Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to Last Night Night's Level. So, we have gotten probably one of the most anticipated updates in the game. Again, I'm not talking about helicopters or anything. I'm talking about a quality of life improvement update, and that is the global inventory. So, as long as you are in the base, you will be able to craft anything you want without having items in your inventory. So, check this out. I don't have anything in my pockets, right? I don't have anything in my inventory. I don't have anything in my backpack, but I can still craft items because my character can see all of these items. So check this out. I can, for example, craft these CB radios. It shows me how many iron bars I have in the in the base. I have almost 700 iron bars here. For example, I want to craft bandages right now. Boom. I can start crafting these bandages without having uh, to go to one of my chests, grabbing these pieces of cloth and crafting that stuff. That is huge. That is one of the best quality of life improvements that I wanted to see in this game for probably six years since the release of this game. And finally, we have it. It's seriously a very, very huge update. So next step, what I want to see in this game is is maybe some sort of a quicker way to sort out the inventory when you get back to the base. Maybe you click one button and everything will sort out. After that, I think we'll have most of the quality of life improvements, to be honest. Like, that was a really, really huge quality of life improvement. This is amazing. Now we can finally start crafting armor. For example, I want to craft this tactical armor, and boom, I can start crafting it. Whenever raiders ask me to craft, let's say, a tactical armor set, I can just go here, boom, boom, craft it, and that's it. I won't have to go through, like, five of my different chests. And at the same time, let's say I want to craft some hatchets. I can just, uh, where are those hatchets? I forgot even. There we go, there are gonna be these iron hatchets. I can just click here, boom, craft them, and that's it. This is huge. This is this is seriously huge. And also, on other news, we have also got a new Douglas in the game. That's not really a huge part for me because I don't even think it is possible to find Rot Whalers in the game because developers have also added Rot Whalers to the game. And yeah, I haven't seen them myself personally yet. If I'm not mistaken, you can only buy them in the shop. So it's kind of meh, kind of not interesting. So I'm not really gonna talk much about them as there's nothing much I can say. And also we have a new season. So this season has already been out here for a few days. I was away. I was visiting my family. Finally, I'm back here. So welcome, welcome guys. And yeah, uh, the new season is already out here, season 42. I've kind of already checked the rewards. Uh, these rewards are kind of the same as for the past, like God knows that many seasons, kind of 10 seasons. And uh, yeah, the best rewards that we can get are on level 33, as we can get these three extremely rare blueprints. We can get these three purple mods there. And that is it. That's all there is to say about the season pass. It's still kind of meh. But hey, at least we can get these three purple blueprints. In any case, I still love that we can craft these bandages. So even though this update wasn't really that huge, like those rot whalers were probably a fail in my opinion, right? We can't even find them. We can only buy them. So it's kind of sad. But this thing is really huge. Even like a couple of live streams ago, like maybe a month ago, two months ago, we kept uh, talking about how awesome it would be if we could uh, craft items from the global inventory. And finally, we can do this. And yeah. That's amazing. And if I'm also, if I'm not mistaken, you can also click fill up button and everything will fill up automatically from your base. I hope that maybe they'll improve this button or something because right now, if you click fill up, all of your items that you have in the base will be thrown into like this drawn upgrade workbench or into whatever other workbench. So maybe if you don't want to drop something, it'll still be dropped here. So yeah, I would advise you to click this fill up button carefully as yeah maybe you'll like use up some of the resources that you didn't want to use up and yeah some of you have already left a comment here saying that uh the game doesn't see items in this place in this acid bath maybe that's true i haven't tested that out yet myself but again i don't really store lots of items in that acid bath so it's not really that huge of a deal for me i mean we have here 400 and something planks yeah we probably have more than that yeah, because check this out. We have here definitely more planks than that. We have a few hundred, so we should have like six, seven hundred planks and we don't have that amount. Whatever, it doesn't matter. In any case, it's still a huge update and we're going to kick it off. Uh, it's still a huge day for me <laughs> because I love this update. It's amazing. I waited for it for a really long time. And yeah, we're going to celebrate it by going to the transport hub. So let's go there, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't cleared the transport hub in about 10 days. And yeah, they've also changed the icon in these neutralizers. So I think the reason why they changed that because maybe they were supposed to be level to uh, armor piercing weapons because there was only a one close to them. So I thought that was like a level one armor piercing weapon. I thought maybe there will be a level two armor piercing weapon, but apparently they maybe scrapped that idea. And now we just got like this icon for armor piercing weapons and that's it. So I don't think we'll ever have level two armor piercing weapons. At least that's what I thought. At least that's what I thought like that one meant. Uh, that one icon above the, the guns. Now it's a bit different. Now it is a little bit different. Also, after this update, I feel like the game's running a little bit crappier, to say the least. It's kind of like uh, 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 stuttery, but whatever. Sorry, get a new computer. Yes, guys, I will get a new computer. Thank you. 
for here. Tips and tricks. Okay, let's get that. And I'm trying to see if anything else has been changed. And yeah, guys. Have you found a Rottweiler? Is it possible to find it? Or can you only buy it in the shop? Because from what I've heard, right? I said I've been away. Uh, but from what I've heard, it's only possible to find it in the shop. And that's it. You can't really... You can't really find them on your own. You can only buy that stuff. The game lags. Uh, the game lags lately very much. Says dynamite. Maybe, maybe. Okay, we got in some more weapons. Do we need anything else? An M16, perhaps. Another shoddy. This should be more than enough. Definitely. There we go. Let's try to upgrade everything. So recently, we have gotten lots of nice quality of life improvements. Like we have gotten this update, where we can just upgrade all of our weapons with just one click of a button. Again, that happened already a few months ago. Now we've gotten this update where we can craft whatever we want. It's just amazing. It's just awesome. And APYY, thanks for the super chat. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the super sticker. Hopefully, you're having a great day. What is the update, though? As I said many times, the quality of life update, update where we can craft anything we want. I mean, for you guys, that update might have been out already a few days ago. I mean, it's been out for like, what, five days? Three days? Four days? I don't know for how long it's been out. It was out when I was on vacation. So, for me, it's a new update. So, it is a new update. For some of you, it might be old news. For me, it's new news. So there's that. Okay, we, let's get some bandages. Basic bandages because we're going to be fighting a basic boss there. Either the miner or somebody else. Are you excited for Mr. Brenner and Scum? I've seen that there will be some sort of a boss in Scum. But I don't know when that dude's going to come out or whatever. Whenever it comes out, we'll check it out. Don't forget the drone. I would have absolutely forgotten the drone. Thanks, Vendela, for... For, for the info, they say 30 FPS, nice. I don't think it's 30 FPS. When I look here, it's not really 30 FPS. It shouldn't be at 30. It's set here at, at 60, but it's still kind of weirder. But it is what it is. Not gonna lie, this update the best. Finally, no need to... Uh, no need to waste time getting the resources from my base to upgrade stuff. Exactly. It is seriously a huge update. It's it's a huge quality of life improvement, right? It's not like a permanent location. It's not another bunker alpha, obviously. It's not like kind of new content, but it's a long and long needed uh, quality of life improvement. So there's that. There is that. And Matthew Spellman, thanks for being a member for 20 mo uh, 21 months. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks so much. Thanks for everything. Uh, C, missed you, buddy. Hope the family is good. Glad you're back. Everything's great. Thanks for asking. Everything's great. Everything's pog, and hopefully you guys are great as well there. I think I have been live streaming. I mean, we can check when was the last live stream. I think it was about nine days ago or something. It was 11 days ago. Woof. So it's been quite a while since we've live streamed, but... I don't think a lot of people even knew that I'm gone because, as I said, there were videos. I haven't missed an upload in, like, pff, in a few years now. I'm not missing an upload now. Everything was prepared, so no worries. I was away, but you guys didn't even know it. There we go. There's that video. Finally, we're back. And we're streaming. I knew, says Jayla. Well, yeah, I mean, at the end of the live stream, I said that I'll be going away for a week. But yeah, if I had not said that, if I hadn't said that, nobody would know that I'm actually gone. That's it. There were videos, daily videos. That's it, guys. There were daily videos. I wasn't away anywhere. Only between me and you, I was away. Yeah. Helicopter update. Guys, there is no helicopter update. There's the quality of life update where you can craft anything you want from, from your base without having items in your backpack. You left us in despair, no communication. Dude, there were daily videos. What do you mean, no communication? What are you talking about? We knew, says Matthew. No, you didn't know. Nobody knew nothing. I was away and nobody knew nothing. Next time when I go away, I won't even mention that during the live stream. There you go. This way, nobody will know anything. Nobody will know anything. What emulator do you use? I use Mimo Player. I miss those questions, guys. I haven't answered those questions in 10 days. What emulator do you use, Cyric? What place do I clear to get loot? When can I raid Cyric? And what other questions? Guys, if you have any other frequently asked questions, make sure to check out the description. There is a frequently asked question section about Last on Earth that I made myself, and I've answered. There are a lot of the 
frequently asked questions, so make sure to check that stuff out. I know the dude's gonna spit on me, so we kind of have to be quick here. It's like, eat your microphone, and yes, I need in those comments. Well, I didn't miss those comments, right? I missed you guys, but I didn't miss those comments telling me to eat my microphone or to eat something else. But hey, guys, welcome. Glad to see you here. How can I get rich in free to places, Matthew Spellman? That's a perfect question, and those are great questions as well. So if you want to get rich in your free to play account, make sure to check out my free to play playlist. Link is down in the description. Make sure to check that stuff out. There I explain on how you should play the game. I teach you how to clear bunker alphas and other stuff. There were also a few guys free to play videos. So yeah, you saw them. You know what's up. You know what's going on. It's like it felt like 84 years without your streaming. Uh, perhaps. But there are still daily videos. Plus there were last and earth videos. And other videos. Somebody asked about Undawn. I think there will be more Undawn videos. I don't know when. But there might be more. There might be more Undawn videos. Because I kind of like the game. You guys seem to enjoy it as well. So we'll check it out. I'll make a few more videos. We'll see what else we can do there in that game. I've, uh, yeah, there we go. There is something else new. Uh, I've heard that from some people that now... It takes a while to climb that ladder, so if there are zombies attacking you, you won't be able to just climb up that ladder. And plus, our character is stuck. And this is so stupid when there is like a delay. Because those toxic darters can start spitting at us, and we always get like 40 damage no matter, no matter what. And you can't really heal during that time because our character is stuck, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna consider that that's a bug when character climbs up and he gets stuck. I think it's a bug. It shouldn't happen like that. And Ben Hartman, thanks for the super chat. Happy to see you live again. Greetings from Germany. Welcome, Ben. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Shout out to all the viewers from Germany. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I knew you'll love it, Sassam. Of course, I love that update. We've been talking about that quality of life improvement for, for forever. Especially in the past, like, couple of months, I kept asking. I kept saying that, that it would be cool to have that thing in the game. And finally, we have it. I'm very happy. There's only one more thing that we need to have in the game. That when we get back to the base, we could click, like, one button and our inventory would sort out automatically. That'd be amazing. That would seriously be great. That's another thing that I want. Maybe it's gonna come out one day. Did they remove planes from Scum? Yes, we don't have planes there now. Maybe they'll add modular airplanes later. But it's kind of weird, right? We've gotten an update in Scum Survival. Like, it was like 0 0.7 or something update with those modular... No, maybe it was 0 0.6 update. Whatever. Whenever we've gotten those airplanes, and then they just remove them in the next update. So it's like that update never even existed. So it's kind of weird. But hey, I'm sure they'll add those airplanes back. One day, perhaps. But yeah, currently we don't have any airplanes in Scum Survival. Uh, nothing here. Okay, there's a, an acid melter. Scanning cargo with drone in inventory is what we all need, says Mr. Beetle. I agree. That would also be a nice quality of life improvement. That would be an, an awesome uh, quality of life improvement. For sure. Absolutely. Love the new dog traits. Well, I have no idea. I haven't explored them. And honestly, I don't think I'll know anything about them. Aren't the new dog traits only available for uh, rat whalers? And as I said, guys, it's not possible to find rat whalers, right? You can only buy them in the shop, so... It's not really interesting. Wait, you can't even escape this place now, so you'll just get stuck. If these rat zombies just come there... It's kind of stupid. Like, seriously, I feel like this location's been designed without thinking. Because sometimes there will be more of those riot zombies. They'll just raise their shields and then they'll start punching you. You'll get stunned and there's nothing you can do about it if they push you into that corner. And there's nowhere you can climb now. Especially when it takes a while to climb up that ladder. Check this out. When you click to climb up that ladder, there's an animation now. So you won't be able to escape because they'll just stun you. So it's kind of stupid in my opinion. It is really stupid. 
Whatever, let's deal with these red zombies. And then let's get that open here. So nothing new, just UI change. It wasn't a UI change. It was a global inventory added. So it, it it's huge. That update is actually huge. Again, it's pretty small. All things considered. Like, you don't really see it. If you just started playing last night, you won't even know that it's been added to the game, right? But to those people that have been playing this game for a few years, it's 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 massive. It's it's a huge improvement, seriously. It is amazing. Okay, we got it. We should have an update where we could automatically farm for things like wood. It's so annoying when your axe breaks and your character picks up some grass. You already automatically farm wood. You just have to fill up your inventory with wood and then go on auto and your character will just keep picking up wood. So yeah, just go on auto while your inventory is filled up with wood and everything is going to be fine. Do you enjoy uh, What do you enjoy most about Undawn? I have no idea. I've only played that game for like three, four, five hours. I mean, I'm still learning about that game. So I don't think I'd have like a part that I like the most about it. Like, wow, the, the feature in Dawn is insane. As I said, we already had Life After. And that game is very similar to Life After. So it's not like it's something new for me. It's still fun to play it, right? But it's nothing... It's nothing too insane. It looks better than Life After. Right? It's probably better than Life After. Because it's a newer game, but other than that, there are the characters stuck. We can't walk, we can't walk, and only now I can walk. Yikes. But yeah, there's still lots of things that I haven't explored in Life After. Maybe I'll do a live stream on Life After. Then guys, maybe will show me something. Uh, what we can do there, because there's still lots of things that I don't know about Life After. So there's that. Okay, let's get another Glock, perhaps. Let's climb down here. Let's avoid this acid melter. And Dawn cooking system is fun. It is pretty decent. Oh yeah, there's another quality of life improvement. Actually, that wouldn't be like quality of life improvement. Maybe it would be quality of life improvement. In any case, I want them to change the cooking system in Last Earth because right now it's kind of annoying. And there's another... Uh, another, another... Uh, thing that I want in Last Earth Survival is to be able to pack items that, that we send in the port location, right? The transport thing. The cargo delivery. I wish we could pack boxes in our base, especially now with this update where we have this global inventory. You can just go to the base, you craft like whatever boxes you need. Then you just go to the port location and you send those boxes without having to craft them there. That'd be huge. That'd be amazing. All of your thumbnails were about the game's graphics because that's what's interesting. What am I going to put about the, about the game's what? The game had impressive graphics for a mobile game. It has impressive graphics. That's it. That's what the game has going for it. But again, I don't play that game on mobile, so it's not like it's very shocking for me. Like, oh my god, those graphics are insane. I play that game on PC. On mobile, it doesn't really run that well. With those kind of graphics. Yikes. Yikes, we'll get shredded here, ladies and gentlemen. We will get shredded. Whatever, I'll just use that drone. It does nothing. Might as well just use it. Okay, one carry and it's dead. Okay, let's deal with that toxic darter and carrion. Goodbye. There we go. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have destroyed them. They are completely destroyed. Yikes. That's what I told you. I have no idea what you told me, but let's say that, yes, I absolutely agree with you. Or I disagree with you, whatever makes you happy. I agree or disagree with you. Whatever makes you happy. After a long time, we will get to vote which crate to open. Yes, indeed, guys. We will fight like whatever boss here, and then, guys, you'll be able to vote what crate you want me to open up. So, buckle up, buckaroos. And vote wisely. Because there's only one crate that we can open up. There are four, four crates. One choice. There are four crates and one key. One choice. 
It's like Walking Zombie 2 uh, are dead again waiting for you. Oh, the Walking Zombie 2 zombies are dead again and they're waiting for me. There will be more of the Walking Zombie 2, I guess. I hope, maybe. Can't promise anything. We'll see, probably. A uh, new update idea, new level plus, new crafting recipes plus, new perks when you level up, says Federico. It's like saying, new idea, I'd like new content in the game. There we go, that's new idea, guys. Asking developers for new content, that's a new idea. That's seriously a good idea, ladies and gentlemen, just asking for new content. Not saying what new content they want, like what new perks, what new crafting recipes or anything. Just, I want new content. That's a good idea. Okay, let's deal with that. And anything else here? Nothing. Maybe for a new update we could get new weapons, maybe. As I said many times already about weapons, it's kind of nice to get new weapons, but... They're like kind of a double-edged sword. It's cool to get them, but... By getting those new weapons, you get less of better weapons. Like, for example, now when you go to the police department, you open up a crate, you get a Winchester. Instead of that Winchester, you could have maybe gotten an M16. You could have maybe gotten and pocketed a Glock, but now you just get a useless Winchester. So, if they add a new weapon and it's bad, they shouldn't add it. That's it. It's pretty simple. Oh no, there's the miner. Yikes. Uh, we're gonna fight it all the way down there. Then I'm gonna get a better thing, and that's it. Have you tried the game only off? Yeah, I've heard of people playing it. It's actually been out now for three weeks, maybe, maybe more. Almost for a month. I've also heard some stories that it's been on Steam, and then they removed it from Steam for some reason or whatever. I know I haven't followed the drama and what's going on there. Wall trick and wall trick is for noobs. Do I look like a noob here? Yes, I can do it. Well, I ain't wall tricking him, mate. All right, the dude is at 2200 health. Just a bit more. I always guys suggest you fighting this miner with bandages instead of first aid kits. Because you kind of always have to keep your health at full. And uh, wasting your entire first aid kit when you have only 80 health is kind of pointless. So it's a lot easier to fight this miner with bandages. When do you usually stream? Around this time. Around this time. Every other day. I don't know. It depends. Okay, let's deal with this dude. I couldn't avoid the jump. Well, I was able to avoid it now. I was able to avoid it. Okay, we have only one more thousand health left to go. I'll probably get a new gun because this one is going to break. I'll get this one. So far, we're doing great. Whatever, I'll just heal up back to full. Sometimes the miner is very fast and you can't really avoid it. Sometimes it'll just keep chasing you. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Are you going to stream tomorrow? Probably. Probably there will be a live stream tomorrow. Class Royale at the end? Nah, I doubt it. I doubt there will be Class Royale at the end. Why would there be Class Royale at the end? Maybe. <laughs> Not probably, no. There is like a 0.1% chance that there will be Class Royale at the end. So probably no. Probably. No, there we go. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have absolutely destroyed this boss. Let's get the terminal cargo and let's open it up. And let's open it up. You'll be able, guys. Uh, guys, you'll be able to choose what crate we can open up so you can vote. So prepare your fingies, your mouses, whatever you have there. And we will vote. So let's insert that crate. Oh, we haven't opened up everything yet. Well, whatever. By the time you vote there, uh, you'll be able to vote. And I'll go and open up other cargoes and crates. And I haven't even uh, gotten everything. So you haven't even seen which crates we have here. Wait, we can't start the poll. We 
can't guys vote for the... For which crate to open up. Okay, let's go back up. Mistakes were made. It's like touch grass simulator at the end, GeoGuessr. Maybe there will be a little bit of GeoGuessr at the end. Probably. There's like a 20% chance that there will be some GeoGuessr. Maybe even more. Go up, schmuck. Go up. So I haven't opened up two more crates. I haven't scanned them with the drone. We are not really opening them up. We are just scanning them with the drone. Let's go here. I should have just opened up the door. I could have went through the door. Oh no, actually all of the doors closed because we fought the boss. So we had to go there. We had to go around it. Okay, let's go down here now. Uh, katana. Whatever, I'll bring that back to the base. It's not like we have a lot of space for katanas, but I might as well just bring it. Why wouldn't we do it? Somebody just said, what's new? So, a few days ago, maybe even a week ago, we've gotten a new update where you can craft everything you want when you're in your base. You don't have to have items in your inventory. Like, let's say if you have a stack of pieces of cloth in your chest at the base, but you don't have them in your inventory, you will be able to craft them. You won't have to get those pieces of cloth in your inventory. So there's that. Okay, let's go back up. Um, yeah, drone required, but I have a drone in my back pocket, right? I mean, I have a drone in my backpack, so why do I have an icon to click the drone and yet I still have to put it in my second slot? It's kind of weird. It doesn't take any charges. We should be able to scan those things without putting it in the second slot for sure that should be an option that should be a thing the vip storage is not new i didn't say about the vip storage i didn't say anything about the vip storage i didn't even mention the vip anything i said nothing about the vip storage what do you mean the vip storage is not new i didn't even mention it I missed these comments, ladies and gentlemen. I missed it. Okay, let's get that all here. And there are a few more cargos that we need to open up. So we will open up those cargos. And then we can open up one of the main crates inside of this transport hub. Three boxes, perhaps. Actually, we no, we've gotten four boxes. I had two already. We've just gotten two more here, so it's four boxes. We have all four boxes. And let's open up this one. Let's see what we got here. Nothing. Usually here should be able to pick up a crate now. Not a crate, but an engine. But for some reason, I can't take it. I think when the transport hub was released, I can almost confirm, right? I could almost bet that it was possible to open this thing up and pick up that engine, but I can't do it anymore, so I don't know. So I don't get it. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, let's deal with this and let's open that stuff up. Echo crate. We have gotten fragments. This mini Uzis. Uh, high tech components and that's it. We have gotten everything there is to get probably. We could also bring some glass back to the base. Why not? Yeah, we could bring a little bit of glass. And also once I get back to the base, guys, make sure to remind me to grind a little bit in the settlement. Because, uh, yeah, we grind in the settlement. And I need to build some like new workbenches and for that we still need to get some more aluminum cables. We need to get like some more other whatever random items. So I'll just try to refresh those workbenches. 
Maybe I'll even remember that myself. But again, guys, in case I forget it, make sure to remind that. Thanks. There definitely was a time when you could take an engine. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we could take an engine from that place. Except we can't take it anymore. And I don't know why. Well, there we go, guys. We have now four crates. So, yeah. Vote for which crate we should open up. Let's start a poll. Uh, which crate to open up? Uh, crate number one. Crate number two. Crate number three. And crate number four. There we go. We did it. So, guys, make sure to vote. It's in the chat there. Drives me crazy how long it takes to save up the badges for the police department. Yep, I guess. Have you played Dying Light, says uh, Sammy? Yep. I've played Dying Light 1, I've played Dying Light the following, which is the DLC. I've played Dying Light 2 and I've played Dying Light 2 DLC. So, I've played all the Dying Lights. All that stuff in the... In the playlist. Are you gonna do raids today? Yes. Definitely gonna do raids. Absolutely. So we have this crate and this crate, guys. And these other crates. So make sure to vote for whichever crate. What will you get? I don't know. Depends. People are voting. So I'm waiting. So far, the fourth crate is winning. But people will always vote for the fourth crate, no matter what. Unless I politely ask, guys, vote for the third crate. And then people will vote for the third crate. Actually, the third crate was kind of goop. I know. All of them are kind of mid now. They used to be a bit better. What crate does your heart want? Probably the fourth crate. You guys have voted for the fourth crate. That is it. 170 votes and 44% of you have voted for the fourth crate. That is it. I'm ending the votes here. It's enough. That is it. This, the fourth crate won. So let's open up now the fourth crate. Let's see what kind of goop or maybe what kind of goods we can get. Also, another update. There was a... Just a ribbon or whatever that was. Just a piece of tape. And now they're like some sort of tiny gate, so they've changed that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what we've gotten, we have gotten some copper wires, we have gotten four aluminum cables, two guns, and a backpack. This is the first time that I've gotten a tactical backpack from this place, which is interesting to say the least. I have never gotten that tactical backpack. So this is my first time that I've gotten. Kind of cool. Kind of epic. We just need to now bring all of this stuff back to the base. I mean, it's decent, to be honest. I mean, it's fine. It's... It's an okay crate. They used to be better. I have no idea why they had to nerf them. I don't know why they felt like, hey, let's nerf those crates. People liked them and they nerfed them. But whatever. At least they're still okay, at least. Alright, they might not be great, but... At least they're okay and still... I'm still coming here. I'm still clearing this place, so... Mm. Mr. Hellfire, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. What emulator are you using? I'm using Mimo Player. Let's get a new armor here. Bam, a drone battery replacement thing and some copper wires. And that is it. Okay, we can stack that and we can bring the bandages. That is it. Well, the rest maybe I can send there. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We have cleared the transport up. So now let's get back to the base and let's get ready for the first raid of the day. We haven't raided in almost two weeks, in like 11 days. So as you can see, my hand is kind of shaking a bit. So, you know, we have to kind of go and do a raid. Maybe it'll be a good raid, you know. Maybe we'll get a nice raid. The game will welcome me with a full inventory of Glax or maybe bandages. Perhaps first aid kits. Perhaps something. Grind the settlement, says Serial Killer. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe before we do the raids, maybe let's go to the settlement. Let's replenish those workbenches. That'll be a nice thing to do. Unless I forget it. Unless I forget it. So yeah, now we can craft whatever we want from the base. As I said, we need now to be able to sort out our base just with one click of a button. Let's say we load in in this base here. I click here and boom, 
let's say whatever i click like whatever button here and all of my items will get sorted out that would be insane that'd be seriously huge huge i'm telling you that would be huge um now i need to find some space for these items Um, I'll drop glass probably as we do have more space here. Then I have a tactical backpack I don't even know where I store those tactical backpacks Well, I have already one tactical backpack here. I'll add another one Perhaps I have some space here for the armor. Yes, I do. I Bloody do have some space for the armor Everyone kind of sorts in a different way. Yeah, everyone sorts in a different way, but I want the quick sort option button. And by saying that, hey, you can sort everything and the game will auto sort everything. I don't mean like game will auto sort everything. Like, let's say if I have the first aid kits in this chest, the game should drop first aid kits into that chest. It shouldn't like drop first aid kits to my guns, right? That's what I mean. If I already have, like, some certain resources in that chest, the game just should, like, add those resources to, the, to those chests, and that's it. Or there could be, like, another button. You click on that button, you select which resources you want there to be auto-sorted and added. I don't know. I want it. Takes a long time to sort out your inventory. So we could definitely get something better. Okay, we need to delete some items here. Because this chest is now full. Well, I have those paddles, but I kind of want to keep those paddles for something. I don't know what I'll do with them. Well, I have another ore paddle. I'll drop that here. And uh, this broken saw blade mace for this broken katana. Whatever. Good enough. Let's drop this, a grenade, and then some food, and that is it. Well, at least we sorted out the inventory kind of fast. Could have been slower, could have taken us more time. And Zachary Castleman, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. What we of shame. You probably meant water of shame, so let's drink a little bit of water. Thanks, Zachary. <laughs> thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream once again. Glad to see you here. Blackboard PD has an event. Yes. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Blackboard PD has the event, so we could clear that place. Maybe we will do it. If not today, then maybe tomorrow, because I still think Blackboard PD event... Yeah, it still lasts for two more days, so maybe we'll do it tomorrow then. We don't have to do it today, right? We don't live only one day. We don't have to do everything in one day. Correct. Absolutely correct. Absolutely. Okay, let's get... Some... Wait, do we need stones? No, we don't need stones. We need planks. We need charcoal. We already have a lot of it. We need a stack of iron. Uh, perhaps screws. I'll get everything we have here. This, aluminum, screws. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing else I need. Uh, Yeah, let's go to the base. And let's fire up the workbenches there. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I had to sneeze. Feeling as good as new. Also, daily loot. Yes, we have to go and get the daily loot. So let's go and let's get the daily loot. Haven't gotten daily loot in 11 days. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Imagine if that daily loot could accumulate without you logging in. You log in for a month and you just get like month, uh, month worth of items. That'd be insane. That'd be huge. That'd be amazing. Bless you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Blast you. Thank you guys for blasting me. I appreciate it. And Zachary Castleman says I'm illiterate. You're not illiterate. You just play last on earth. Those are two different things. They're very similar and yet they're two very different. 
As we have a running joke here, those that play last internet didn't know how to read. And that is probably true to a point. I'm speaking from my personal experience. The problem with the audio or just me? What are the problems? Everything's fine. I guess. Uh, let's keep crafting more uh, of those aluminum cables. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Yo, Zachary, thanks for the super chat. I'm waiting for 44, for, for 46 days of threats to go away. Um, I mean, it's fine. You get to raid more. You'll get revenge raids. So don't worry about those 46 days of threat to go away. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Okay, let's add those. We can start making these light frames. And there's something else that I need to make. I just don't remember what. I just don't remember what else we need to do here. There is something else. Perhaps here. Maybe I need those light parts. I don't know. We'll see. Kinda easy. That is it. We did everything there is to do. Oh, there's actually something. We can open up uh, more crates here. So I requested the devs once again to send some some things for the mercenary contracts or something. So I guess we can now open up an insane amount of contracts now. Maybe we'll progress a bit further in the settlement. Because the settlement is still goop. But hey, let's do it. Let's open up, guys. A bunch of these crates. We got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just some of these upgrade things. Nothing again. Okay, we've gotten here a mercenary. Was that... Yeah, that's her with that golf club. So nothing interesting. We've gotten another mercenary. We, we never had her before, so that's a new mercenary, right? I've never even... I've never seen her before. Okay, there's no way I'll be able to upgrade her anyways. Okay, we've gotten her to another level. That's great. We opened up some more of them. We have gotten this... This dude, I don't remember his name. He's pretty decent, though, from what I've heard, I guess. Well, whatever. Now we can probably go and level them up. And maybe we'll be able to progress a bit further in the settlement. I don't know. There go the guys at max level. We can increase the rank. Barracks to level 3 required to increase the rank. Bruh. How does one increase the barracks level? It's not that expensive. We need 40 of chip boards. Which are definitely doable. And yeah, Zachary Castleman. Uh, thanks for the super chat. Except I have no idea if the thing has appeared or not yet. It didn't do the ching ching thing. It didn't uh, do the notification. But Zachary Castleman, thanks for the super chat. Playing this game, I've never been so rich and so poor at the same time. I believe sometimes you'll have a lot of items. And you won't have any light bulbs or any screws or any bolts or anything. So I feel you. I understand. Playing this game, I have never been so rich and so poor at the same time. I absolutely agree with you. So yeah, Zachary Castleman, thanks for the super chat. I totally agree with you. Sometimes it looks like you have a lot of items, but then you don't have some basic items. It do be like that. Okay, so I've upgraded Connor to level 40. Chipboards are current bottleneck for me. I don't have enough resin. I don't even know what's needed for those things. Okay, so we have uh, Malison, which is maybe cool. And then we have Godfrey. Godfrey, whatever. Let's upgrade Karma to level 40. 40. She's almost at level 40. Is there anything else I could level up? We could perhaps level up Tucker or Lemmy Maverick, both of them. And Jeremy uh, McGraw. Sorry if I butchered the name. Thanks for the super chat. 50 cal. Go brrrt. 50 cal. Are you talking about our, our, our zombie truck? We should be upgrading our zombie truck as well. Because we need, we need what? We need 20 of these aluminum cables. And then we can kind of upgrade the zombie truck and then we can progress a little bit further. Waiting 10,000 years to get another Officer Murphy contract. Yes, indeed. We could upgrade both of these guys. Tucker and uh, Lemmy Maverick. 
I should also be upgrading Jack of all trades. I can't even upgrade him because I don't have another one. Whatever, let's try to upgrade Tucker, perhaps. Tucker is good. Let's upgrade Tucker. I'll add all of these things. For only two levels! Whoa! It's kind of sad. At least they do get a lot of health, but still, it feels like... Feels like nothing. Let's upgrade this guy just a bit. Let's add 70 of those things. We've gotten three levels. Can't level up Connor anymore. We could upgrade Karma to max level, probably. There go, let's get her. She's at level 40. Wait, you need three of those? Oh, whoa, you need three contracts to level her up to a higher level. And we got only two Connors. Okay, so we don't have enough of them. Could either upgrade Tucker or a Lemmy Maverick. Whatever, let's upgrade Lemmy Maverick. I'll add those universal stripes here. And boom, that is it. Let's try to do an expedition then. I didn't expect that we'll do any expeditions today, but we can do it. Let's check it out, ladies and gents. Let's go for it. Assemble a squad. Auto squad. Will that be enough? I don't know. Whatever. Let's see. I just auto squatted. And maybe it'll be enough to progress further. Maybe it will be. Maybe it won't be. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's skip this. Have they fixed it? Yes, I think it's unzoomed now a bit more. Uh, no, they still haven't fixed it. It's even worse. Looks like it's even worse. Oh, no, we actually see all of them. It's all good. They have fixed it, guys. They have fixed it. Forget it. Forget what I just said there. Everything's fixed. Everything's fine. We can finally see those mercenaries. We can see their health and everything. So all of that is good. Okay, so we will start perhaps healing up here. Maybe I wasted that healing ability, but that's fine. Uh, Justin says, I'm not really a fan of how expeditions now have debuffs. They're frustratingly dumb. I agree. I didn't like expeditions before. I don't like them now. I still think expeditions are pretty dumb. Hopefully we'll get better game modes in the future because it says that there will be more game modes. Maybe there is no way they can save this game mode, but maybe at least other game modes that they add can be a bit more fun, right? That is it. We did it. That was pretty easy. We did it. We absolutely did it, ladies and gentlemen. What was the new update? The quality of life improvement where you can craft anything you want from your inventory and you don't have to hold items in your pocket. Let's say if you want to craft bandages and you have pieces of cloth in your chest. You don't have to hold them in your pocket as long as you're in the base. Uh, let's go further. What else do we need? We have here a thread. The noise of guns firing explosions activates the alarm. Okay, so we have one and a half minutes. The puddle and reduces mercenary attack speed. Okay, so here we need to add, obviously, Connor. Here we need to add... I mean, we can add Malice it doesn't matter. Let's add her here. Um, I mean, let's add Lemmy Maverick, I guess. And here we can add Karma. Whatever. Let's see if that's enough. If no, then no. Maybe we can switch some other mercenaries. Cyric Reed says Phoenix Pro Tesovic. And I go back and the dude said Cyric. I am level 59, and I got max level burger. Congratulations on your burger, mate. Congrats on your burger. That's very needed information. Everybody asked for it. Thanks, man. I'm glad that you brought attention. <laughs> Congrats on your max level burger at level 59. Congratulations. Okay, let's drop that thing. The dude's probably gonna die. Yeah, I should have put Karma in front. She has a lot of health. The dude's gonna die. Yeah, the dude's a goner. That's it. Will that be enough to deal with these waves? Maybe no.
He could have just stayed in the back, would have been better. Yeah, I think he could have just stayed in the back, would have been the same thing. He would have survived longer. Yeah, I don't think we will survive. We have only 30 seconds. And, uh... My idiotic character here is aiming at the wrong guys. We have 20 seconds. There's no way I'll be able to deal with them. 13 seconds left. Yeah, five seconds left. We could do it, but we don't have enough time to, to do this event. Oh, that is it. Now they came from everywhere. Well, whatever. <sighs> Minigun overheat is annoying. It do be like that. It do be like that. Okay, let's try to do something else. Let's try to assemble a squad. Let's just auto squad and let's see if it's enough or not. Maybe it'll be not. And maybe it'll be enough. Well, if we can't do this event, then that's it. I'll just go get ready for raids. I don't want to spend here all day doing these expeditions. Well, the guy's losing a lot of health in that puddle as well. I mean, he survived longer there anyways, I guess. Okay, they'll destroy that guy. Probably. Let's try to heal him up real quick while we can. Let's heal him up just a bit. Well, at least the turret drop. So that is something. We still have 30 seconds. Maybe we can do it. We have 24 seconds. There are only a few enemies left. Unless there's one more wave. There's one more wave! Whoa! Whoa! And you have to do it in that amount of time. So no matter what kind of mercenaries I get here, I won't be able to do it. I mean, they don't have a lot of health, but... Bruh. Nah, we can't do it. We can't do it. Zero seconds left. And that is... The look at the amount of zombies there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. We could probably do something else. Maybe we should put Tucker instead of Lemmy. We could get different uh, mercenaries for sure. I'll try to do that thing later. As I said, I don't want to spend here an hour just doing the same thing. Let's get out of here. Let's try to do some raids. And then I'll try to switch up some different mercenaries to see how it works. Plus, we could try to do some more expeditions in other places. Like, there are train stations and other things, so we could try to do some stuff there. But we will see. Whatever, let's add that thing here, here. Let's drop the coal. Let's sort of charge our... Uh, our drone. And Jeremy McGraw, thanks for the super chat. What's on the agenda for the stream today? Raids. We're gonna do a raid. That's, uh, that's what's on the agenda. We're gonna do a raid. Thanks, mate, for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. We're surviving the apocalypse at last on Earth and doing raids. Uh, five savage giants at the farm, plus 52 mic, whatever, goodbye. And uh, we can craft armor. Ladies and gentlemen, check this out. Look at it. Just look at it. We can craft the armor right now without having anything in our inventory. Look at it. It's beautiful. We crafted it and boom, the quest is finished. I just saved like about a minute, maybe even more than a minute. It is insane. I love that update. It is great. 
it is honestly huge. Now you can know how many items you have in your base. That's also huge. I love it. It is amazing. It is awesome. Check wrecked ship for C4s. Maybe we'll go there. Okay, so now our next stop is the farm location. Also, have they moved this reputation to a different corner? Maybe their reputation meter was somewhere else. Or maybe it's always been there. I don't know. I might be tripping. So let's go to the farm location. It only took them six years to implement it. Yes. It only took them six years, but you know what? I'll take it. Better late than never, in my humble opinion. That's what I like to say. Better late than never. Have you watched Peaky Blinders, mate? Yes, indeed. I have watched Peaky Blinders. Um... Um, what weapons do we take? Some miniguns? I mean, we got them. Let's get three of them. That's way too many than we need. And Uzi, a shotgun. Ooh, that's enough. That's it. We don't need anything else. That is it. That is bloody enough. Okay, let's upgrade this. The problem with this feature, it takes stuff from the... For the first items in the chest, not the last. I don't understand what you're trying to say there, but... Yeah, I mean, you can always go back to the old thing and take items and craft them that way, I guess. What's your favorite bread, Cyric? Depends for what. There's dark bread, there's light bread, I don't know. Oh, and I haven't even sorted that stuff out. You're gonna overkill them if you bring more guns. You can never bring too many guns. There's no such thing as overkill in Last and Earth Survival. Okay, we have 20 of these aluminum cables, so we could A, either upgrade our minivan with these aluminum cables, which I should probably do, that's it. Or B, I could save them up for something else, but maybe today I'll get back and I'll upgrade my minivan. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Or maybe I'll do nothing. In any case, let's skedaddle. Let's go for the raid. Your chest memory will be gone, Cyric. I'll still have to use guns. I'll still have to sort out my base, so it's not like the memory of those chests will be gone or something. Everything is still gonna be there. Do a raid. That's what we are doing. We're gonna go and clear the farm location and we are gonna go for the first raid of the day. Okay, let's go to the Crooked Creek farm. Wait, is that a... No, that's a junkyard. But Seriously. But We're not going to that junkyard event, ladies and gentlemen. We're not gonna go there. We're not going to the junkyard event. What's the best mod for the M16? The... The grip. And Luke actually said the grip, muzzle brake, the first scope, green laser. Unless you haven't unlocked the red laser. Yes. Yes, indeed. Or also just go on YouTube and type LDOE Cyric mods and I'll have two videos. I have two videos there where I explain all the mods and everything you need to know about those mods. But yeah. The grip is the best mod. Now, welcome to the farm location. We're gonna clear it quickly. We need to destroy five savage giants and then we can get back to the base and basically do a first raid of the day. And it won't be only the first raid of the day. It'll be the first raid of the week. It'll be almost the first raid like in two days, in 10 days, in 11 days, in almost two weeks. So it's insane. Or maybe I should wait. Maybe we shouldn't raid today so that I can raid like once every two weeks. Because right now I can say that hey, I've raided for the first time in like 11 days. It would be cool if I could say I've raided for the first time in two weeks. Now I can't say that it will be my first raid in two weeks. So I should perhaps wait. The longer we wait, the sweeter that raid will be. No, I'm kidding, peeps. We're going to do a raid today. We're going to do a raid today. How to get glass? You can get glass from the sewers. You can also get glass once you assemble the boat and other stuff, but... I assume you'd already know that, so it's probably the sewers. You get that stuff from the sewers.
How to get factory parts, uh, recycle guns, full durability guns, or go to Bunker Bravo during events. When there's Bunker Bravo event, try to go there. And it should be pretty good. You can get factory parts that way. There is no cheap way to get factory parts. It is expensive. I think I have to say that because every time I'll tell someone to like, hey, just recycle your guns or something, they'll be like, oh, what's the easy way to get them? That is the easy way to get them. There is no other way to get them. It is very hard to get factory parts. They are very rare. So it is what it is. Okay, let's try to deal with the Revenger. Before somebody says that it's Ravager, Cyric. Sure, it's Ravager, buddy. Sure. There is no proof that it's Ravager. How to get a rock whaler. I don't think it's possible to get it. You can only buy it, so that's kind of, that kind of stinks. Unless I am wrong. Can somebody else confirm or deny that in the chat? Can you find rot whalers? Have you found a rot whaler? I don't think it is possible, is it? So it's kind of pointless. Can't be found. Yeah, so it's it's pointless then. It is kind of goop. That's why I don't really even talk about them. There's nothing to say. It's not It's not interesting. Um, let's say we dealt with the... I want to say we dealt with the Rot Whaler. We, de we dealt with this Revenger. Hmm. We got more things to do. We got more crates to open up. Was the best place to get armor? Bunker Alpha. Bunker Alpha is the best place to get armor. You get armor from Bunker Alpha, says Jeremy. Yes. Absolutely right. You can get you can get a lot of armor in Bunker Alpha. You can get probably enough armor. In Bun Kralf. If you want more, you can obviously craft it. It's pretty simple to craft it. You can upgrade that leather armor to... To, like, upgraded leather armor, which is pretty decent. Just use up your leather armor, leave it at, like, 10% durability, then craft. And upgraded leather armor, it'll be at full durability, so... It's a nice way to reuse your armor. And, yeah. You can also get lots of armor in Bun Kralf, but You shouldn't have problems with armor. If you clear Bun Kralf, we shouldn't have lots of problems with it. You can get like two sets just from the red crate. Kill the blind one. Oh my goodness. Oh lord, I got hit in the face. That's better. You can get seven guns from Bun Kralf. Yes, you can also get guns from Bun Kralf. Bunkralf is a good place. I said that many times. I haven't even probably mentioned that today. Whoa. I haven't mentioned that in 11 days. But if you want to get rich, make sure to clear Bunker Alpha. Bunker Alpha is your friend. Get loot. Get rich. Bunker Alpha. Bunker Alpha is your friend. Okay, right, Yoko. Goodbye. Let's deal with the Savage Giant. How to get catfish from fishing? I have no idea. Make sure to check out the frequently asked questions. There is maybe something about catfish, or maybe it's about another fish. I don't know if it's that or not that. If it's not that, then I have no idea how to get catfish. There is a fish needed to get the true friend doggo, to increase the chances of getting the true friend doggo, and that's explained in the description. I've written that stuff a while ago, so I don't remember everything and how those fish uh, are called. But there's that. Okay, bam. Uh, shoddy and uh, this thing. Okay, let's deal with the disease wolfos. And they have made the farm location a little bit harder because now 
these zombies spawn with clumps, right? Before... You could clear that place easier. I lost my mouse here for a second. So yeah, before you could clear that place easier, you could sneak attack most of these rotten yokels. Now, most of these zombies just fight with clumps, so you can't even sneak attack them. I really don't know why developers did that. Like, I, I'm totally clueless. It's not like farm location was already amazing here and you could profit from this place. They made it even harder. I really don't get it. I really don't understand why they make things harder. It doesn't help the game. It doesn't help anybody. So it is weird. It is really, really weird. It happened like already a while ago, maybe half a year ago. I don't know after whatever update, but now farm location became definitely a lot harder. Now you almost need to bring guns here. As I said before, sturgeon. Yeah, that's we were talking about sturgeon. I'm not talking about the catfish. I was talking about the sturgeon fish. But yeah, play Days Gone. I've already played and beaten Days Gone. Because it had settlement items. So it has settlement items and now it has to become... And now this place has to be harder. It makes no sense to encourage you to buy items from the store. Well, I guess it's just all up to a point, right? Oh wow, that's a lot of savage giants. That's a lot of savage giants. Maybe I'm just gonna lure all of those savage giants. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting them today. We'll just lure them around and that's it. Did you clear all acts already? Yes. I mean, there are only two acts right now, so I've already cleared two acts. Okay, let's wait here. Until all these schmucks gather. Okay, let's go that way. And let's go all the way to the tippity top. Oops, didn't mean to get that bull, but whatever. We got it, apparently. Now the bull's chasing us as well. Have you already seen the State of the K3 trailer? Have they released something in the past 10 days? Then... No. If it's an old trailer, then I probably have seen it. Okay, I'll get hit in the face here, so I'd rather... Go around it. Okay, there's this stupid bull. Okay, another bull is chasing me as well. I will gather the entire map here. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Okay, I will go all the way down there. I will wait for those schmucks to come back to me. And while we're doing that... I mean, there's nothing else to delete. I mean, I could delete this broken gun. Yeah, we have enough space to take the rest of these items. Why do they bring ultimatums and neutralizers? Where did they get them from? I probably got them from the chopper and I forgot to put them back. Probably that's what happened. Okay. Oh, you're not done with five giants. Oh, maybe. Maybe you are right. Maybe you are right. Stupid infected bull. I have no idea how many giants have killed here now. Oh my goodness, there are stupid raiders, of course. Why those schmucks are not attacking the raiders? Well, I said I'm not gonna kill all of them, yet I ended up killing all of these savage giants. It's too late, I got them. Killed all of the savage giants. I will deal with the last uh, raider there. And the bulls are chasing me. I don't like it. Don't like it. They will hit me in the face here. I said I'm skedaddling. Oh, we did it. That is it. We actually did it. Now we can skedaddle from this place. It's like, do they add new active mods? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's like, have you played The Last of Us? Yes, I have played The Last of Us. Played The Last of Us. I played Days Gone. I might replay Days Gone again recently. I think maybe like two days ago. Yeah, probably two days ago. Before yesterday, I posted a video about Days Gone. Where we fight some hordes and other stuff. So, yeah. Maybe I will replay Days Gone again at some point. Maybe I'll do it during a live stream or something. I doubt it though. But we'll see. We'll see. We never know. 
We never know. Yeah, we got in a puppy here. Shepherd puppy. For a second, I thought it's a Rottweiler. <laughs> Rottweiler from Walmart. Let's go to... To the wrecked ship event. You might as well just clear it. Play Grounded again. Grounded was really fun. I really enjoyed Grounded. Maybe one day we will replay Grounded. I doubt it though. Maybe. But it was a really fun game. I think Grounded is still very underrated survival game. It was really, really fun. Really fun. And plus it had multiplayer. So, yeah. It was great. Okay, let's skedaddle from here and let's quickly clear this place. And let's see what it has to offer. I have a spread shot and I'm not afraid to use it. Not afraid to use my spread shot. Almost all of them just died with one shot. Hello. Hello, dude. Great job. I owe you one. Okay, let's see what we're going to get. We've gotten some oak and that is it. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Play Metro. I've played Metro Exodus. Grounded is good summer vibes. Yeah, that's what I feel. Grounded was awesome. It was such a, like, mysterious game. I, I really liked it. I really, really loved it. Like, it... It stuck with me. It, it's a great game. I absolutely loved it. Like, there were constantly, like, new areas, new enemies new weapons, it was fun to build a base. Everything was fun about Grounded. I liked it. I loved Grounded. Play Metro 2033, maybe one day we'll play it. Maybe can't promise anything, as we never know. Play The Walking Dead. There are a lot of The Walking Dead games, unless you mean the Telltale series games. Maybe someday in the future. To Dog Crate, they have changed this button before it was different, no? They have changed this icon before it was just a box. Now we can see it here. Well, let's send it to Dog Crate. Sam, what a beautiful name. But today, you're nothing but a gooper. Well, today, you're nothing but a gooper. So, guys, we're almost ready for the first raid. So, smash the like button on the video. It's like, what to do if I'm not subscribed? I don't know. Feel free to subscribe if you want to subscribe. But don't forget about the like button. Don't forget about it. Uh, yeah, that's the right chest. Let's drop the guns here. Some melee weapons. Some... No, 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 that's the wrong crate. Copper, aluminum. We need the Walking Dead series. What the Walking Dead from Telltale, where there's Clementine and uh, other dudes, maybe. It was a great game. I'm not saying it was a bad game. It was a good game, says Boom Boom. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying it's a bad game. What a name, Boom Boom. Um, bandages. Where do I drop bandages? There we go. I store bandages over here. Except they don't fit anymore. Bruh, my bandages. Oh, there we go. They fit. For a second, I thought I can't fit bandages anywhere, but they, they fit. Play Seven Days to Die. I've made a few videos on Seven Days to Die as well. Absolutely. If you guys have an idea for what game to play, just probably go new to and type Sire can that game name. I might have played it. I haven't played all the games, but we have played a lot of games, especially survival games. Okay, let's get another armor set. And I think we need to go to the hard mode bunker, right? In order to do the first raid of the day, we need to also deal with the blind one here. So let's do it. Let's go to the third floor and let's kill the blind one. And then let's roll for the... And then let's roll. Let's do our first raid. I'm gonna get rid of this. This armor was absolutely broken. How on earth I still had it, I have no idea. I actually like to have my tactical armor for the blind one. I feel better because that way the blind one can just do a hundred damage to me and that's it with five hits. The blind one does a round amount of damage so I can just heal up with bandages uh, with first aid kits easily. Mm. 
Mm. Gasoline goes there, and that is it. Let's get some random weapons, some shotguns. If I have any, I definitely need to start using my... My flare guns. Perhaps one day. Any shotguns? Nope, just more flare guns. I have probably an entire rack of flare guns. I need to do something about it. ASAP. Okay, another shotty. Another Glock. We had an M16 there, but hey, I'll save it. And more flare guns. You know what? Maybe let's start using them. Whatever, we have a lot of them. I might as well just use them. We have over a rack of those flare guns. And more miniguns. Is that enough? For the blind one, that's more than enough. I said I'll take two shotguns, but yet I've taken only one shotgun. Where's the other shotgun? I said I'll take two shotguns. There we go. There's another one. Let's get him. That's it. Let's go. Use flare guns on the blind one. We could probably use flare guns on the blind one as well. That could be probably doable. Was the new update the the global inventory? Now you can craft items from your base without needing to put items in your backpack. So before, when you had to craft bandages, you'd have to get pieces of cloth in your inventory. Now you can craft like those bandages without having pieces of cloth in your inventory. They can just be in your chests as long as you are in the base. And same goes for whatever other items like your armor and other things. Listen, guys, I'll need to go and clear Bunker Alpha. So, what's the password? The good old question. What's the password? Will you replay Dying Light 2 but on the side of the Peacemakers? I think there are Peacekeepers. Not Peacemakers. But, yeah. If you play Telltale, the Walking Dead game, you must play it in the game order. Season 3, then 4, then 1, then 2. I've never heard a sillier answer, but... Alrighty. You can believe in whatever you want. I've played them through Season 1 to whatever season, and they were fine. And I will play them in order in Season 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I'll probably have to go and check the passwords myself. Because we have gotten a bunch of fake passwords. Thanks, guys, for nothing! Thanks for giving me fake passwords. Really cool. Um, today is 10th. And 10th is 57148. Okay, so we actually have now lots of right passwords. Thank you guys for the right passwords in the chat. Every time I start looking for the right passwords, you guys give me the right passwords. Thank you. 57148. 577148. There we go. That worked. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the right password. Really cool. Why not bring the doggo with you? doesn't want to come with me. The doggo doesn't want to come with me. They're not that good. It's mostly a burden. Welcome. Fazbiter. Goodbye, Fazbiter. The dude just disappeared! Whoa, where did the... Where did he go? The dude just disappeared. Did you see that? Like something flashed. The zombie got stretched and it disappeared. Okay. Let's activate that. He doesn't bring the doggo. The doggo brings him. Yes, indeed. And the doggo didn't want to bring me there. So I had to go alone. He went to Ohio. My doggo? The dog was sleeping in the crate. The dog was not going anywhere. That doggo is lazy. Can you do Bunker Bravo with melee weapons? No, you cannot do Bunker Bravo with melee weapons. You'll have to use guns. Even with the event, you'll still have to use guns. With a Bunker Bravo event, I mean, you'll still have to use guns there. There's a red shot. Bye.
What do you plan on playing in the future? Currently, the closest game that I'm excited... I'm probably gonna, actually, speaking of things, of the closest things, blah, blah, we're gonna check out G uh, Generation Zero. It's like some sort of a survival game. There are robots in it and whatever. I have... Uh, I wanted to play it for a long time. So I think I might check out Generation Zero. I'm currently waiting for more... For another update in Miss Survival. There will be a beta update in Miss Survival. It's coming out at the end of July. I think on July 30th. So in about 20 days from now, there will be a new update in Miss Survival. So I'm going to be checking that stuff out. And then I have no idea. We'll see. We will absolutely see. There will be some more Scum Survival. That's what I know. But other than that, we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. I haven't seen any new... Big games coming out. Especially survival games. Also, I might be replaying Sons of the Forest because they've added lots of new updates. There's like probably some sort of a different ending now, maybe. There's like some sort of a boss fight there. I don't know anything about it. So, there's that. Okay, let's hop in Soid and let's use this flare gun. Okay, the dude is going to attack me. Okay, my dude just got stuck there for a second. Stupid. It's like, try Daisy. I've made a few videos on Daisy already. Okay, Flaregan is kind of goop against the blind one, to be honest. The shoddy is better. Yeah, the shotgun is a lot better. The shotgun is a lot better. Will we play Raft again? I mean, we have beaten Raft. There is nothing much we can do in Raft. Maybe there will be more Raft videos in the future, but we'll have to wait and see. I also loved Raft. I absolutely loved Raft. It was amazing. All right, let's soak up some more hits here. Yeah, I think shotgun is a lot better than that flare gun against the blind one. It is doable. You can definitely fight the blind one with the flare gun, but it's just better. Such a nice game. Raft says Luca. Yeah, Raft was awesome. Absolutely loved Raft. Raft was great. And I kind of played Raft when it got like the last few updates. Because Raft's been out for a long time, but it didn't have the full story. So it was kind of nice to beat Raft. It was kind of nice to finish the full story. Play Ark. I have played Ark Survival on the channel as well. As I said, guys, if you have any game idea, like, probably just try to go on YouTube and type Happy Cyric. And, like, whatever game you want me to play. Chances are I have played it. Maybe I haven't played all of them. Maybe I played some of them. So, like, did you play Minecraft? Yes, I have played Minecraft. I have beaten Minecraft. We have the full series where I be beat Minecraft for the first time. Had he played Resident Evil 4? Yes, I played Resident Evil 4 Remake. I didn't play the original Resident Evil 4, but I've seen the Let's Play on Resident Evil 4, the original one. But I have played the remake. Play Until Dawn. I have also played Until Dawn! Oh my god, sake, really? Yes, I have played Until Dawn. It's been a while since I've played it, though, so it's kind of an old video. And I made, like, some sort of a weird... Uh, like, some sort of a challenge, trying to pick worse choices all the time. And, yeah... It's been a really long time ago. Five years or something. So yeah, we've played that. Play the Long Dark. I've also played the Long Dark. You played Frostborn? Yes, I've played Frostborn. Play Call of Duty Zombies. I haven't played that game. I don't know if we'll play it. I doubt it. Play GTA. I made one video on GTA 5. I said majority of the game, guys, uh, that you're mentioning, I've played it. And, played and you played Brawl Stars. I think I made a video on Brawl Stars. Either a video or a live stream or something. I have some Brawl Stars content. Play life after I did it. Guys, at this point, you're just mentioning games that I've played. Just for clout. Stop it. Just stop it. That's it. We have gotten a floppy crate. Let's open it up. I didn't expect that we'll get the floppy crate today, but we can open it up. Let's get it. Let's open it up. 
go for a Terraria. Guess what? I played it already here on the channel. I made a video on Terraria. It's like, play Gothic. Yes. Actually, I played Gothic. Very funny. Play Evil Within 2. I've played Evil Within 2 a while ago here on the channel. I don't think the videos are... Not like I don't think the videos are there. The videos are not there. I played the Evil Within 2 about... I don't even know for how long this channel been here. But yeah, those are one of the older series. There are some videos that I've done on the channel. I've probably deleted like about 100 videos, if not more. Because those were very old videos and... Uh, they're like pretty goop. It's like your current videos are goop. Stop it, take it back. But yeah, I want to actually see how old is this channel. And I'm going to tell you about the games that we have deleted. Okay, so this channel is about nine years old, right? So maybe like nine years ago, eight years ago, I have played uh, uh, Evil Within. I think it was just the Evil Within. Maybe it wasn't the Evil Within too. Well, I've just played Evil Within. The series are deleted. I've also played... What is that game? Uh, the guy that walks with the phone and he hacks everybody. He hacks like the... He can hack the, the traffic lights. He can explode the... The things and everything. How is that game called? I forgot. Uh, it has a U in it. It starts with a U, probably. Watch Dogs! Yes, it doesn't start with a U. It's, it's Watch Dogs. <laughs> it is Watch Dogs. Yes, I have played Watch Dogs. So that stuff is deleted. I've probably had like a Far Cry 3 playthrough. That's probably deleted. I had... I had a bunch of other things. That are deleted at this point. But yeah, those videos were very, very, were very old. They were very old. Did you play Outlast? Yes! I played Outlast. Will we play Silent Hill? W is U. Yeah, I mean, I made a mistake. I thought it's something... It has something to do with a U. I made a mistake. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I don't even know for what I'm apologizing here, but hey, in any case. Have you played Undertale? No, I haven't played Undertale. I don't know if I will. It's probably a cool game, but I doubt I'll play it. Okay, let's recycle three guns. Huge dogs. Yes, not watch dogs, but huge dogs. Huge dogs. Well, I have played huge dogs. What can I say? Try Minecraft with mana and antifacte mode. Antifacte. The flip is antifacte. Excuse me, mister. Minecraft has so many mods that... Yeah. It is what it is. Play Grim Souls. I've already made a video on Grim Souls a few years ago. And that's more than enough. In my humble opinion. Have you played Uncharted though? No, I haven't played it. I haven't played Uncharted. I want to play Uncharted. Wait, isn't Uncharted now on PC? Maybe we'll play it one day. Maybe. Actually, I'll add it to the list. Maybe that'll be our next story game, Uncharted. I have played it, but I don't know if people will want it, right? Like that's the the whole point. I want to play Uncharted, but uh, Uncharted. There we go. I added Uncharted. Maybe I'll play it, but yeah, I'm not sure. Kind of want to play it, but it's very far from the games that we play here on the channel. It has nothing to do with survival or anything. Nothing. It has nothing to do with zombies, so I doubt that people will watch it. But I'd like to actually play Uncharted. But it may be in the future. Maybe in the future. Goopy game. What's a goopy game? Uncharted? Are you out of your mind? I've seen an, uh, the Uncharted uh, Let's Play like probably eight, seven years ago or something like that. I don't remember almost anything about it, so I just know that it's a cool game. Wait, I have one Glock. Where's another Glock? Where do I get more Glocks? Maybe from this raid. Maybe this raid is going to give us more Glocks. Plus, we've gotten a Glock here. So let's get it, let's upgrade it, and let's go for the first raid. 
Have you played Last Day on Earth? That's a good question. Honestly. I'll definitely think of... I'll definitely think about Last Day on Earth. Look at this. Now we need to craft the hatchets. I don't need to go around the base searching for those hatchets. I can just craft them like this. Would you play Five Nights at Freddy's? Actually, I had some videos on Five Nights at Freddy's. I have now the Five Nights at Freddy's VR videos. Those are the most recent ones. The most recent ones, aka a few years old. Over a year old, maybe like two year old videos. I don't know. But I also had like normal, the original. I had like, I've probably played uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3 on the channel. I haven't beaten them, but I've made a few videos on them. Again, those videos are deleted because they are pretty old, but I think I have played those. If not even other Five Nights at Freddy games. I've played other Five Nights at Freddy's games. It's been a long time. And now it's getting some sort of a movie. I don't really know much about it. But it's getting some sort of a movie. Where are the resources, bro? I want my wood. Am I asking for too much? Okay, let's get a little bit of wood. Let's craft uh, five normal hatchets. One. Two. Three. Or I could have just maybe crafted it without having the things in my inventory because I for because I forgot. Have you played Monster Hunter? No, I haven't played it, but I've played Witcher. I've played Witcher 3 on the channel here. I don't think I have all the Let's Plays though because they're pretty old and they were pretty goopy, but I have made like probably 70 videos on The Witcher 3. If I could, I would replay it again. Like, absolutely. Um, we're done with everything. Let's just get a C4 and let's go. Let's roll. Let's absolutely roll. Okay, guys, you're just now at, uh, asking questions on purpose of the game that I've played recently. Stop it. Get some help. Opinion on the new unknown crate. What's the new unknown crate? I don't know the... Wait, have they done something with the new unknown crate? Where is that unknown crate? There was an unknown crate where you could watch an ad and open up that unknown crate. I don't see it anymore. Wait, it's gone from the game. We don't have that unknown crate anymore. Bruh. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have that unknown crate anymore here. We used to have that unknown crate. We don't have it. They said at the very beginning, I don't have it. They say you missed it. It's not here. Survivors. Unknown box. Oh. That box. Oh, for an ad, whatever. Let's watch it. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Psych, show the ad! I'm not showing you the ad. And again, the screen is black. I don't think I'll be able even to close it. Sometimes when the screen is black... I, I can't... I have to guess where is the X where to close that ad. But it's a new box. They have changed it. Before it was just like a box. Now it's different. It's kind of hard to find it. And it looks like you get better loot there. Maybe. You can only get one every 24 hours. Hmm. Have you played the Monster Hunter? I've already answered that question a few minutes ago. No. A few minutes ago. No, I haven't played the Monster Hunter. Ladies and gentlemen, we just watched it. We just watched it and we got something. What did I get? I don't know. Let's open it up. And we have gotten pants and nothing else. I think it's better. My opinion is that this unknown box now is better because you will get guaranteed items here in six days, basically. You will get a guaranteed uh, reinforced beanie. You will get a guaranteed Glock and you will get a guaranteed first uh, five first aid kits. Maybe if you get lucky, you can get those things. So in my opinion, it is better. I think this box is better. Even if it's only once every 24 hours. What is your opinion, guys? Is that box better or worse now? That new un unknown box. Is it better? Or is it worse? I think it's, it's better. You can't get coins now anymore. But it's not like you could get lots of coins last time. So I think this one is a lot better. Better, 100%. Better, better. Okay, a lot of you are saying that it's better. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It is absolutely better. Do you play... Do you plan on playing Elden Ring? I've made a video on Elden Ring. Are you gonna play free-to-play today? I mean, we posted a video on free-to-play yesterday, so we're not playing in that account today. But 
Don't fret. We're about to do a raid instead. LDOE raid. Player 6889. Okay. Let's see what kind of goods or goops we can get inside of this raid. Okay. I see how to enter this base, ladies and gentlemen. I see it. And I'm absolutely ready. Are you ready, though? Just because I'm ready doesn't mean you are ready. You might need to buckle up. You might need to put uh, on your seatbelt. Fasten your seatbelts. And let's go. Go to crater and play it until you get bored. I, that's it. I already got bored from the crater. I got bored there without even going into the crater. Imagine that. Imagine that. How long is your hair? It's pretty long. Uh, when people can raid me, says Balong. Uh, they can't. Uh, they can only raid you when you raid first. Recently, I made a video on everything you need to know about raids. So go to the channel. And you can find that video there. R posted it like a few days ago or something. Everything you need to know about raids. But basically you can start raiding once you're level 150. And your base will only get raided once you raid first. And you're not raided by real players. You raid by... You're raided by AI. By bots. So there's that. Okay, we're not gonna craft any managers here. Remember... If we craft managers, we will make noise. We can't craft anything here. Uh, food. Okay. I'll get it. I'll eat it. I'll bite. More first aid kits. A red crate. More of these pieces of clothes. Oh, and another thing that we need to get in the game. We, we have to have like craft X10 or craft max or something. Maybe not craft max. That'd be silly. But maybe craft X10 so I don't have to keep... Clicking that craft button like God knows how many times. I could just click craft X10 and the guy would just craft 10 bandages. That would also be a nice quality of life improvement. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. Bloater, bloater. We got the floater bloaters. Have you played games? I've never heard of games, honestly. I'll be honest with you guys. I never liked you, and I've never heard of games. I have no idea what's a game. How long has your hair been growing? Four, five years, maybe. Yeah, at least four years. Maybe five years. Maybe more than five. Let's say five years. Around five years. Uh, I'm gonna drop first aid kits, a shotgun, these things, and more carrots. Whatever we have sorted out our inventory, we can go back and open up more things. Nothing, nothing. I mean, we could bring oak back to the base, but we already have a lot of oak, so I don't need to bring more of that stuff. Uh, more pieces of cloth. Dude, we're gonna craft a lot of bandages. It's gonna take us forever and a little bit to craft all of that stuff. But whatever, I will take it. At least this base has something, right? At least something. More managers, more food. And let's open up the last crate and then let's get that all from this base. We should play Project Zomboid. I've made a video on Project Zomboid. Uh, there might be more, actually. I'm thinking about more videos on Project Zomboid. Yeah, let's get more of those things. That is it. Let's get that all. So this base... Does it get Sykes approval? It gets Sykes approval. It's fine. It's an okay base. It's not insane, but it's an okay base. I just got an AK and a green box at Alpha. I think it is possible. 
I have gotten it as well, maybe twice. I have gotten a K from a green box as well, probably twice. So, you know. But in all seriousness, it is possible to probably get an AK from a green box. So congratulations. It is epic. Medkits equals approval. Yeah, we have gotten a decent amount of loot here. Would it make noise if you craft on the global map? No. It doesn't make noise when you craft that stuff on the global map. Okay, let's craft now a bunch of bandages. My inventory is full. Well, we will make space by deleting some of that stuff. And now I can craft it. There we go, guys. Let's craft those bandages here. They said port is getting update, but nothing changed. What port? Port is getting an update? They didn't say that port is getting an update. Where did you see that port is getting an update? Hmm. Never seen that. What happened to the pink lights? They became red. Maybe pink lights will come back. Actually, maybe they'll come back. I will maybe change them to pink after the live stream. Or maybe at the end of the live stream. If this video hits, I don't know how many likes. If this video gets 3 million likes, I will switch lights to pink at the end of the live stream. So I can forgot the floppy disk. We will definitely go and get the floppy disk. Absolutely. 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 Alrighty, let's uh, hop back inside. When will backflips return? Probably backflips will never return. That's it. Backflips will probably never return. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that right now. No secrets. Backflips are not returning. Okay, these things shouldn't be here. This way I can store more items. Ah, oh my goodness. I have no space. I have no bloody space. Why not? Because I forgot how to do a backflip. It's as simple as that. Okay, we need some more meat. Okay, let's get it. There we go. Now we have some more space. And let's give that meat to Doggos. I miss that island too. It says fours. I agree. That island too was amazing. I also liked that island too. I like that island one. It was great as well. But yeah, I like that island two more than that island one probably. Both of those games were great. It was fun. It was fun. Um, thinking. The brain is pumping. The last brain cell is working. Okay, I had to find more electronic circuits. Let's get that stuff. Let's actually even drop one more electronic circuit inside of the pickup truck. Maybe let's pay them with aluminum bars. Whatever, let's get those aluminum bars. We could pay them with other things, though. I have some things that I don't need. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen. What's your net worth, Cyric? Three Glocks and a rack of bolts and uh, transistors. That's my net worth. Oh my god, Cyric! It do be like that. It do be like that. Maybe I can give them third part. Maybe wait, maybe they don't want third parts. Wait, there's something I wanted to give them, the the other parts. Where do I keep that stuff? I'd probably keep it up here. Could have just given them those other things and would have been fine. But whatever, let's give them their heat sensors. They'll get the heat sensors. Hopefully, three is going to be enough. There we go. Seems true. They're happy with that. Now skedaddle. Let's call them on the radio again. And yeah, let's see what kind of other tasks we'll need to do. And plus, we need to go outside now and open up that floppy crate. 
as I still look, haven't opened up the flappy crate yet. So let's go for it, ladies and gents. Let's do it. Except before we do this, as I said, we need to go and see what other tasks we need to do to go for the raid. We have to kill the Revenger, which we can't. We need to raise three doggos, kill the Colonel at the factory, and clear the third floor. We might do one more raid even today. After this thing, we might do one more raid. Because why wouldn't we do it? Um... Yo, Suspect Row, thanks for the super chat. What update are you talking about? I mentioned that thing in the first second of this live stream. Uh, but I am talking about the update where you can craft things without having items in your inventory. Oops, like for example, these bandages, right? I have no pieces of cloth here in my inventory, but now you can craft them. And you can see how many items you have in your base. Like we have here almost 300 pieces of cloth. So this is huge. Like we have here like some sort of a global inventory. This update is huge. It is massive. It's a quality of life improvement. It's a huge quality of life improvement. It's It didn't add like any new content or anything. But we needed this update for a long time and I'm glad that we've gotten it. So that's the update that I'm talking about. I'm thinking again, the, the brain is working. It's like you don't have it. I do have a brain. Please believe me, I have a brain and it is working at full capacity. I'm gonna get that thing. Let's use revolvers and let's go outside. Could probably chew on some canned food. And let's get that. Will there be another Undone video or a live stream? I have no idea. There will be more Undone probably. I just don't know when. And Lilla Barris, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. It's like, what's the most rare item you got in this game? What? I don't know. I have no idea. We've gotten that goop. Okay, we don't need it. What we do need, though, is this floppy crate, ladies and gentlemen. If that's an infected floppy crate, I'll have to bring that stuff back to the base. They will launch this update after five years, right? It's a suspect, bro. It's already out. What do you mean they will launch this update in five years? Like this update where you can craft items from your base without having them in your inventory. Like that global inventory update, it's already out. Like that update is already here. You can already do this. It's not an update that will come out in the future. We already have this update. It is here. We've gotten it a few days ago. Oh no, it's not an infected floppy crate. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. So yeah, Suspect Pro, thanks for the... For the super chat w update indeed it's a w update actually such a good update it is a huge update it is seriously a great update they have added a goopy rot whaler that you can only buy in the shop but as i said many times and i'll repeat that again that when they add a pay to win thing in the game i don't mind that as much if they add something useful for other players like in this case like in this case they've added the rot whaler right to the game like nobody really cares about those rat whalers but they've also added this huge quality of life improvement and it's a w in my opinion it is a w so every time if they want to add something goopy to the game they should add something good as well and that goopy part won't be as goopy then so i'm glad that we have gotten a grenade launcher let's get it let's get that one copper bar let's get some of this wait a minute have they improved this thing or did I just get lucky? Have we... Could I get three guns, four guns with a grenade launcher in the past? Did they improve this thing or... Am I just tripping? Was it ever possible to get three guns? I think it was possible because I think I've already had this conversation before. I don't think they've changed anything here. Yeah, I don't think they've changed anything. Whatever, forget it. I just got very lucky. This is like the best crate that you can get. Looks buffed. I think they say it's better. I think we got lucky. I think we got lucky because we've had that thing before. Like sometimes you just get only two guns, but this time I got really lucky with the grenade launcher and other things here. I'll need to check it out again. Maybe they have above the above the loot. It feels like the loot is a little bit buffed, but I, I still doubt it. I think I just got lucky because I might have gotten that stuff before in the past as well. So. It's like 50-50. Feels buffed, but I think I just got extremely lucky. So that's what's going on.
high reputation. It doesn't matter. The reputation doesn't really matter. Also, the updates in 23 hours and 20 minutes looks a lot bigger. It was a lot smaller. Check this out. This thing is small. This thing is small, but this thing on the wrecked ship event is pretty huge. That is weird. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's bring that stuff back to the base. They didn't. No, I'm not saying that they 100% buffed something or they didn't buff it. I just got really lucky with the crate. That felt like they buffed it, but I'm pretty sure I've gotten that loot before. Once or twice, so... I don't think they buffed it. But I'm glad we've gotten a grenade launcher. That's something. MGL and a SCAR, and plus we've gotten an AK and a shotgun. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, guys, are you ready for another raid? Because we could do a second raid today, not only one raid. Are you ready, Buckaroos? It's like, how can I get a tactical backpack? By spinning caps at the gas station. Or in the transport hub. But by the time you go to the transport hub, you'll already have that tactical backpack. I hope. More C4s. Or a supply event. We don't have a supply event. Yeah, we don't have a supply event. If we had that supply event, we'd do it, but we don't have a supply event. We only have the commune event. But we have the wrecked ship event, which is all right, and the Blackport PD event that we will do tomorrow. This, this. Oh no, I'm, I don't want to leave that electronic circuit in that chest. Let's drop aluminum bars here. And let's see what kind of quests we need to do real quick. Do we have a supply event? No, we don't have a supply event. Wait, what? No, we don't have a supply event. I don't have the supply event, guys. What are you talking about? But not right now. Yeah, we don't have a supply event right now. That is true. Uh, the factory... Let's deal with that colonel at the factory then. Let's get some guns and let's deal with the colonel. So we also need to raise three doggos. So how about I do this? So how about I raise those three doggos? There we go. We just raised them. We can probably even breed them. Because why not? There we go. Gooper. Okay, that is it. There's nothing else we can do here. We need more scum survival videos. There will be more scum survival videos. Okay, we're done with the doggos. We need to go to the factory now. Yes, let's quickly hop to that factory. We're not gonna clear that factory fully. I'll just deal with the dudes. That's it. And a revolver. That's way too many guns, but that's enough. Let's start using these goopy weapons. Yeah, we still have enough armor. We still have enough everything. What's up? And yeah, let's go. It's not Tuesday today. How do you have the big hunt active? I don't think I have the big hunt active. Do I have the big hunt event active? I don't have it. It starts on July 11th. Why... Why did you say that it's on? It's not on. I don't have the big hunt event. I don't have it. Yeah, they also need to buff some loot in this abandoned factory because it's not that bad, but... Actually, the loot is pretty goop. I take my words back. The loot is pretty bad. I want them to buff the loot and then more people could go and loot that abandoned factory because I don't think it's that bad. I don't think the abandoned factory is a bad place. It's a... Interesting enough location. It's pretty fast. 
I'd like to clear it more often if it had a bit better loot. Like, let's say more guns or something. Maybe more healing items. Maybe something else. Something interesting. Some more settlement items here. And then I would be coming here a lot more frequently. And I would be clearing this place fully. Flare gun isn't that bad. No one ever said that flare gun is bad. But if the flare gun is alright, we'll be using that flare gun then perhaps more often. They don't have a lot of durability though. Okay, Colonel will probably die pretty soon. Got the kernel. Hopefully that worked because before when Doggo killed like some sort of a a valuable enemy needed for your raids, that wouldn't count. Maybe maybe it counts now. I think they fixed that bug. It counts now. Hopefully. Okay, let's get that all from here. You can get oak here if you don't have a chopper. I mean, yeah, you can get like what one oak tree. Two oak trees. It is not bad. I'm not saying that this location is... I mean, it is goop. Even with, like, two oak trees. Like, what? That's not enough. We should get better loot here in the savannah and the factory. It is pretty goop. Can Colonel one-shot you? I don't know how much damage Colonel does. Never tested. I have no idea, honestly. I completely have no idea. Okay, let's go back home and let's see what other tasks we need to do. Like, do you have the new dog yet? No, I don't have it and I'm not gonna have it. Factory scoop red pine location had better loot. Fair enough. I would agree with that. I would agree with it. I do agree with that. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so this one, bam, done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's complete that. Let's sit on our chopper and let's go for the right number dos, which is two in Japanese. Oh my God, Cyric! Is that true? Yes, that is true. I confirm. I've been taking Japanese classes, so I guess I know what I'm talking about. Unless I've been scammed. Right. Which also might be the case. Okay, let's get a Glock. Where was it? There we go. We got one Glock. And maybe another one will be somewhere in our inbox. If I have one. Nope, I don't. Well, I have a broken Glock, which is basically nothing. Bro, we are running out of Glocks, so yeah, I'll, next time I get Glocks or anything, I'll save them. I will save my Glocks for the next time. Whatever, if we run out of something, I'll get another melee weapon or a gun or something from the inbox. It's fine. That is it. Let's get some hatchets. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, now we need some basic hatchets. Let's craft four more basic hatchets. One, two, three, and four. I thought I can craft a crossbow, but now I'm disappointed. Yeah, you can't really craft crossbows, but crossbows are pretty good. At first I thought that crossbows are goop, and they don't have a lot of their ability, but crossbows are pretty decent. They do 70 damage. So I think they're pretty decent. Let's get another C4 though before we go for that raid. Let's get it and let's go. What's happening? We're getting ready for the second raid of the day. 
Oh no, this thing. I haven't cleared my chopper yet. Just craft a Glock, let me go. Whoa. Whoa. You shouldn't, guys, you shouldn't craft Glocks. They're very expensive. Nobody should be crafting Glocks. Absolutely nobody. Only if your name is Happy Sayak and you want to craft goop for fun. Then maybe you should do it. But other than that, don't do it. Don't do it. Shotgun also does 70 damage. Yes, that's why I say that crossbow is good. That's why I'm saying the crossbow is good because it does as much damage as the shotgun. Shotgun has a shorter durability, I think. No, shotgun definitely lasts longer. What is this base? Yoseramando. Okay. I will check it out. How do you read Yose Armando? Yose Armando. Is it a good base? Is it a bad base? I don't know. We'll see. We're about to see it right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to see it. So buckle up, buckaroos! It might be a good base. It might be a bad base. It may be one of the best bases you've seen. It may be one of the worst bases you've seen. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm ready. Hi, Sark. You're from Lithuania, right? Yes, I was born and raised in Lithuania. I just came from Lithuania. I've been to Lithuania now for a week. Now I'm back. Crossbow breaks too fast. Yeah, it bra definitely breaks fast, but if it's a free crossbow, usually those crossbows are free. You get them from somewhere for free. So they're not that bad. I like crossbows. They're pretty good. I thought they're pretty good, but they're pretty decent. Nothing. First chest and it had nothing. The first chest and it had absolutely nothing. I don't think we can get a lot of crossbows right now. I don't even know where we get those crossbows from. I think you can get them from from the season pass. Does the season pass give any crossbows? Um. Unless at the very beginning. Yes, we can get a crossbow here. You basically get crossbows from season passes, and that's pretty much it. That's where you get that stuff from. Again, obviously, I take a Glock instead of that crossbow, for sure. It's not like... I'm not saying that wild wow, crossbow is the best thing ever. But I'm just saying that it's not as bad as a Winchester. From all of those newer and unique weapons, it's it's probably one of the better ones. But I would take a Glock without a hesitation. This, this, a Winchester. Let's get it. Kind of don't want to get it, but let's get it. Let's get it. They added a Rottweiler, a new dog, yes. They added it, but you can't get it, so. They didn't really add it, did they? A zip gun. I'm looking at that zip gun. I'm bringing it back to the base. I, I, I started this raid. I might as well, might as well get it. Right. I might as well take it. Take the zip gun. I got it. Nothing. And let's open that stuff up. I love Winchester, but they did it dirty. It's a, it's a horrible weapon, indeed. They messed it up. They messed up. And that is it, guys. There is nothing else we can do from this raid. Explode the other room. It has nothing. The other rooms have nothing there. 
So I'm not going to waste the C4 on the other Roma. I don't think it's worth it. Or maybe we should do it. I mean, I'll make a little bit of noise. But at the same time, it has nothing. So I don't think it's worth it, guys, to waste another C4 for, like, what? For, for, for... No, we're not going to get anything. So yeah, let's, let's skedaddle. So does it get Sykes approval? I mean, we did get a stack of first aid kits. I don't even know if it gets Sykes approval. It's... 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 It's at least 1 out of 10. To get Sykes approval, the base has to be 2 out of 10. But would I give it 2 out of 10? I don't know. It's up to you guys. It is up to you if you would give it 2 out of 10. I don't know. I'd, it would be hard to give it a 2 out of 10. So, for a zip gun. I mean, we did get a zip gun. We got a zip gun, ladies and gentlemen. 7 gasoline canisters, which is nothing. So, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, honestly. Completely, completely. I'm being completely honest, and I have no idea if it was worth it or not. It's funny. Again, that raid could have been worse. I've seen worse raids. So, this isn't the worst raid ever, right? Like, I could have gotten nothing. I could have gotten just scrap metal. Or grass. Or, or just a Winchester, and that's it. So, it's not bad. Could have been better. Yes. Could this raid been better? Yes. Could this raid have been worse? Absolutely. Could have been better and could have been worse. Does it get Sykes approval? You know what? I'm giving... Um, I don't know if I'm giving it Sykes approval. God damn. It didn't have enough loot, right? It's like, let's say 1.9 out of 10. That's what I would give that raid. It's 1.9 out of 10. Are we allowed to give base as Sykes approval? Sure. You can do it. You can do it. You can do whatever you want. You are a free human being. Uh, let's try to pay those raiders. I'm going to give them... Paw. I'll pay them with spears, perhaps. Maybe not with spears. Maybe not with spears. I can give them wrenches, probably. Let's try to give them two of those wrenches. If that's not enough, then I'll give them something else. Not bad. You can do it when you want. Okay, we need to bring more things. <sighs> that's why I just give them those floppy crates. Not the floppy crates, but these things. The electronic circuits because we have a lot of them. They take space in the base, so I might as well just use them. That is it. We did it. What did you take? The zip gun psych. Why wouldn't I take it? It's a zip gun, god damn it. So there we go. Let's share that. And let's call them on the radio. I want to see what kind of other raid we get to do here. What other tasks we'll have to do. I don't think we'll be doing that raid today, but it will have to open up a blue card, which is almost perfect, as we will go to the police department tomorrow. So, that is buggers. And yeah, plus we'll get to kill another blind one, which we can't do anyway. So yeah, tomorrow we will maybe kick off our live stream with a raid, but... Today's live stream is almost wrapped up, right? Except there's one more thing we need to do. We need to touch some grass, as we always touch some grass at the end of the live stream. You might be like, Psych, what are you talking about? Have you ever heard of an awesome game called GeoGuessr? Hmm? Have you ever heard of it? Have you ever heard of it? If you have, let me know. Because we are playing it right now. Bam. And let's play it. We got five minutes here. My GeoGuessr premium is gone. Now I'm back to being a peasant. Just give Spears going to need those electronic circuits. That I would kindly disagree with you. I have more electronic circuits than I have uh, Spears. And if we'll ever need a hundred of those electronic circuits, then no one's gonna have them anyway, so I don't bother about it. There'll never be a bottleneck. It's a very interesting place here. I have no idea where that could be. Wow, that is very interesting. 
That is very, very interesting. I mean, Romania, perhaps? There's no way it's Romania, though. Maybe it is Romania. Same to climbing up. Okay, it is... RRL, dude, this is Romania. Bruh. I'm great. I'm amazing at this game. Let's go here. I'm on the second spot, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. I don't even have to do anything. I would have guessed that it's Romania even without this domain, but... I told you that it's Romania. Just by the, by the vibe. Right? The vibes that this place gives me. And, ladies and gentlemen, it was Romania. You just hit 100 million views. Yes, the, the channel has hit 100 million views. Actually, a few weeks ago, maybe over a month ago. Say, so, guys, thanks for watching the channel for such a long time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for everything. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Pesqueiro Lambari. Don't flip. If I had to guess, we are probably somewhere in South America. Maybe. Um, but where exactly? I don't have the slightest clue. Um, I don't think I'll get knocked out during this round yet. If it was a 1v1 battle, I wouldn't want to have a 1v1 battle here as that'd be very hard to guess here. I can't even go any further. So yeah, to those that have just joined, welcome to the stream. We have just done playing Last on Earth. And now we're playing a little bit of Joe Guesser. I'll just go here somewhere. Whatever. It's almost never there, though. I'll go for Colombia. Why not? It's just a guess. And it was actually somewhere here in... In Brazil. Yep. It was somewhere here. Yikes. Well, at least I guessed the continent, right? I guess that's a W. Right? That's a W. Uh, that's France. No? It's gotta be France. Yeah, it is France. Probably. Still not 100% sure. I'm like 90% sure though. Because that sign uh, that mentioned the street, it was green. You see, there are like, these green signs mentioning the street. I've never seen them green. I've never seen a green street sign in France, so it's got to be somewhere in a weird place. They're always... I don't know what color they are, but they're not green. It's French. Maybe it's not even France, and I'm going all the way here-ish somewhere. It's probably not there, but... It's not even France! Whoa, I'm in the last spot! Should have went higher. Well, it was in the middle of France, so it was in France, but yeah, as I said, that sign was a bit weird, though. A bit weird. But yeah. It was France as... Uh, uh, the signs were French. But it is what it is. Um, It's somewhere in Europe, obviously. Duh. Okay, so again, that red and yellow thing, it's... I keep forgetting. It's either Finland, Sweden, or Norway, or both of them have it. It's... I'm probably gonna go for Sweden or Finland, both of those. It's either Finland or Norway. Maybe even Sweden. I don't know. Bro. I don't know. Uh... Voice team silent... Sounds... I don't know how it sounds like. Uh, team Smalni. There's a river. Whatever. Let's go up here. I'm on the first spot, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on the first spot. I'm killing it. I am killing it. And it was almost there. Genius. Is that Vostim Salanti somewhere here? There's Vostimo. But it's not there. Well, in any case. Okay, so that's Finland then. Bruh, look at all these chicken. Where is we? Where is I? Okay, the sun is kind of in the west. So it's kind of in the middle. Between north and south. Me, it makes no sense for me. 
So I can't even guess the continent, right? Because usually if the sun is on the closer to the south, that means we're in the northern hemisphere. And if it's closer to the north, we're in the southern hemisphere. It also depends on the time of the year, but blah, blah, blah. But most of the time, that's a good rule of thumb. Um... Okay, we are in the in the south then somewhere here. No, no, I got knocked out. I can't change the guess. I got knocked out. Whoa! What? Whoa, it was somewhere on this island and somebody knew it. Wait, what? What is this? Midway. What is that? Two people knew that. Who are they? How do they know? You can't even... The the amount of... Look how much I have to zoom in to even find it. How do they know that? How do they know that? Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, we can't play again because we gotta wait. So, I guess... We are going to be wrapping it up. Isle of Man. Is it Isle of Man? No, it's not Isle of Man. It's it's Eastern Island. It's very small. Sand Island, Midway Islands. It's a very tiny island. Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge. Refuge. That's what it is. All right, it's so tiny that it's going to be hard to even find it. Unbelievable. Whatever. It do be like that. Let's say speed cube. We could speed cube, right? We haven't speed cubed in a really long time, so we could do a little bit of speed cubing. Speed cube timer. Let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for the speed cube timer. Um, there we go. We can... Um... Add the... Wait a minute, where is it? There we go, there it is. Yeah, there we go, there is our desktop, bam, and... Uh, yeah, it'll be good enough. Let's go. So, let's do the speed cube. We haven't done this thing in a really long time. In 84 years to be exact. Should work. Okay, so let's try to scramble the cube then. Back up, back, left, down. That's it, we did it. Now let's add some more scrambles. And let's go for it. So my personal best, I don't even know what my what was my personal best. Around 30 seconds, but that was very lucky scramble and I got very lucky with it. So usually my average is about like 50 seconds now, but I'll be happy if <laughs> elemental ads. I have no idea what kind of an ad, but there is an ad now. In any case, it I haven't I haven't been speed cubing for a while, so if I get like sub one minute, I'll be happy. If I get sub one minute, I'll be happy. Usually my average was like 47 seconds or something. So I'll be happy if I get sub one minute. That's it, that's enough scrambles. Let's, 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 let's look at it. Um, boom. Okay, actually I know what I'll do. I'll do jing, 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 and that's it. And then we'll see. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one, go. Uh, jing, 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 uh, jing, jing. Yikes. My goodness, already made lots of mistakes. But it's fine. Making more mistakes. That was a very easy start. That was a very good start, but I messed it up. I fluffed it. I'll mess up at the end anyways. Because I haven't done it in a really long time, so I'm sure I've forgotten some things. Unless I get lucky. Oh my goodness. Oh 
47 seconds. 51 seconds. Actually, not that bad. Whoa. Could have been a lot better solve. I've made here so many mistakes. Elementals. I have no idea what is the elementals at. I have no idea what is that. I've never heard of it. But yeah, we did it. 51 seconds, sub one minute. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Not that bad. Could have been... Could have been a lot worse in my humble opinion. Could have been a lot worse. With no warm-up or anything, it is decent. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will be wrapping it up. Thanks for joining. See you tomorrow with another live stream. It'll probably be another last and survival live stream. Unless I come up with something else. So, thanks everyone for joining here. See you tomorrow. It's a new Disney movie. Never heard of it. But it do be like that. So, guys. Take care. Uh, see you tomorrow with another live stream. Perhaps a video. And... Uh, yeah. Take care, everybody. Glad to see you here. Have been live stream for 11 days. I'm back. Missed you. And yeah. See you guys tomorrow. See you later, everybody. Have an amazing... What is it today? Monday. Yeah, have an amazing Monday, everybody. Take care. Take care, take care, everybody. See you later. Take care, take care.